so it might be useful for example if you are editing a video on your main screen or watching a movie and you do want to keep up on your social media for example Facebook or something like that on an hour screen so that's a good thing so what you need to do is first of all download an extension for your computer and then download the space desk app on your device now it does support Windows Android and Mac and you can pretty much install it vice versa so uh, I'm not really sure if the phone if the Android phone can be the server uh, if you can expand the Android phone screen but you can expand your Windows screen to another Windows screen or to another Android onto another Mac etc so let's go ahead and first of all install it on the phone now one requirement is that both of the devices should be on the same network so if they're on the same Wi-Fi for example it will be good it will not work if they're on a different network or something like that now it does say on the phone that is sort of a beta of a driver and basically it recognizes my desktop PC but I'm not going to use that but we're going to install it on our laptop this time so uh, as you can see you can install the uh, server driver which that's what we are going to install right now but you can also install the client as you can see you can install it on many things it actually can be extended via the browser itself so if it supports HTML5 you can actually extend your uh, screen via HTML5 without actually installing it on your uh, computer or Android or whatever anyway let's go ahead and install the 64-bit now the installation should be pretty simple without anything special so yeah, uh, it does use network obviously, so you do want to uh, mark that, obviously yes. Now let's hit finish. Okay now, first of all, after you install it, you do need to reset your computer. For some reason it doesn't work on my Windows version, but I think it's because on my laptop I actually installed an insider preview Windows version. That means that I receive insider updates that are not always very good. I think that's the problem. Anyway, what I did is connected with TeamViewer to my other desktop computer and we're going to try to connect to the desktop actually. Now, sorry, but I did put the phone like this. What we're going to do is actually drag this window to the other screen and as you can see, I can pretty much move. Now, okay, sorry, let's grab my mouse so it will be a little bit easier. So as you can see, I can basically pretty much move it all around between the screens so now we have two screens 